second of back to back uh, against the same team. What do you expect to see from New York tonight? I mean, they're really good up front. They have a lot of skill, guys. Uh, I think. I think if we clean up a, a couple areas of our game and uh, improve on those, that we match up well against them. They're a really deep team, but uh, that's the nice thing about playing them back to back. How you kind of get a feel for them the first game, and then hope can correct correct the things going forward. What do you want to see from your guys? Um, just kind of clean up our breakouts a little bit. I think that's one of the biggest things we touched on in the morning meetings, and then just up in the compete level a little bit. Uh, physical team on the other side. They don't give a lot of inches out there. That's part of your game that maybe you can push back or, or force things a little bit? Yeah, I think that's we have a lot of guys that can play physical on this team and um, our line especially, I think that's kind of our bread and butter. So if we can uh, kind of create a lot of energy, be physical, create turnovers, uh, I think uh, a lot of other areas of our game can start to show if we do that stuff. And there was a lot of talk after that game about the Rangers getting to the front of the net, getting the tips, getting the ugly goals. Uh, I see you maybe getting some power play time. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think tonight hopefully I'll get a lot of opportunity and something I'm comfortable with going back to junior. And uh, if I get an opportunity or two in the net front, hopefully I can put one in. Ugly goals are as pretty as pretty goals. They all count the same. <laughs> yeah. <That's right. laughs> You guys have played well in some of the bigger buildings this year, like Vegas and, and LA. Are the guys more excited when you come into an atmosphere like MSG? Uh, definitely. I, I think just those big cities, uh, you can kind of feel the energy right from warm up with the music and just uh, the crowd. And I think the last couple of games, like in Vegas and LA, like you mentioned, uh, it's pretty easy to get up for those. And uh, I'm sure it'll be no different for today. Looking forward to tonight after a disappointing uh, first game of this back-to-back. -back. Yeah, no, obviously it's exciting Friday night, and uh, MSG doesn't get too much better than that. What uh, What do you see that your team has to do to get a different result? Yeah, I think we just, at times, I think we played good last game. Just doing the same thing we did in LA. I thought we played a full game there and obviously got rewarded. So just trying to do that. Um, obviously, we had a long road trip. Uh, feeling better now, finally catching up on the sleep. So. Should be ready to go. What does Drake Batherson have to do uh, to get your game going? Yeah, I think just keep winning my battles. Um, maybe play a little more more physical and just keep shooting the puck. Um, you know, I have, I've been getting a lot of shots, but yeah. I know they're bound to go in uh, you know, soon enough. So hopefully uh, that comes uh, tonight, and we'll see. I think uh, just focusing as a team to play a full 60 and uh, get a big win here. The DJ says, in your case, playing physical means holding on to the puck and I guess grinding down low. Is that kind of how you see it too? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, just winning your battles out there, um, taking them one shift at a time, and yeah, hanging on the pucks, making plays. Um, that's the uh, same thing as you know finishing your hits. Um, it's all in the same physical category. So you know, let's try to do that. When you when you were on that roll, you had that what eight games in a row with a goal. Like, is it just? What happens when you're scoring? Is it just, just so much more confident with the puck? Yeah, no, I think I, every guy in the league goes through it. I mean, you see guys struggle, and then they score 20 in the next 40. I, I feel like unless you're a guy who scores 50 or 60 every year, you're scoring almost every night. But I feel like most guys are up and down during, during the season, and that's the toughest part about the NHL, just being a consistent scorer and uh, making plays. So, you know, try to try to get that going tonight.